So an opportunity zone is a geographical area within the city where if you make an investment in a business or a real estate development within that district, um, you get a tax break on that. And this is a federal program. It was part of the Republican tax bill of 2017, I believe. Um, and the details get a little complicated, but the important thing to remember is that it makes these specific geographic areas more attractive for uh, investment. It's important that folks understand this was a federal program. They picked census tracts around the country with input from state and local governments. Um, but Somerville did not vote for this or anything like this. This is a federal program and then the specific areas within the city, uh, the mayor's office and the governor's office help select. So we're in an opportunity zone here, part of a voting yard, brick bottom, inner bell, and we want to talk to the resident um, and figure out what are some of the development standards we want to set for this area before all that investment come to our community. We want to get a little ahead of the game and say before the city begins the neighborhood plan for brick bottom or continue the discussion on uh, voting yard. Let's create this development standard so um, the city, the developer, are aware of what are the, the vision for from the community for these um, areas. I think um, the, the biggest one that stands out to me both personally and just in talking to other people is um, the prospect of just more luxury apartments coming in um, and you know one two bedrooms or studios that are just too expensive for really anyone to live in even people who are not just low income people who are middle income can't afford to live in these new luxury apartments and personally that's what I see as the biggest threat because a lot of times they come in and they stand empty um, and you know the de developers will do their affordable housing bare minimum um, but it, the people who are middle income don't qualify for affordable housing. A lot of the things that the community desperately is pushing for things like affordable childcare facilities, things like uh, support for um, elderly residents, neighborhood grocery stores, libraries, parks, uh, a lot of these things don't directly generate money for developers. And so that's why we haven't seen developers just kind of providing these things of their own uh, goodwill. You often need to push them and kind of use the leverage of um, not only our legal structures, but also community activism to say, if you want to develop in our community, you need to help us reach all these other goals that the community has, things we desperately need.